Good morning, Three Mandela, and welcome to your third talk for writing lesson of the week. Today, our learning objective is, can I use similes? What are similes? Pause your video and tell Mr Fox what similes are. Let's find out what similes are. So, a simile is a way of describing something by comparing it to something else using like or as. So if we are using similes, we are describing something by comparing it to something else using the words like and as. Let's have a look at some examples. The car was as fast as a cheetah. So in this sentence, we are comparing the car with the cheetah using the word as. Let's have a look at another example. Her eyes are like stars. So in this example, we're comparing eyes with stars using the word like. Why do we use similes? Pause your video and tell Mr Fox why we use similes in our writing. Let's find out why we use similes in our writing. When you are describing something, you are trying to create a picture in the reader's mind. Similes can help you to do this. They are most often used in stories and poems. And you might have spotted some similes in the poems that we looked at on Monday. The dog was big and fierce. We're going to look at this one together. I want to see if we can add a simile to this sentence. So we've got to compare the dog to something else. And we can use the word as or like. Let's have a look at one together. The strong black dog was as big as a wolf and fierce like a very angry bear. So let's think about this sentence. The strong black dog was as big as a wolf. So we've compared the dog to a wolf using the simile as. Then we've also included another idea in our sentence and fierce like a very angry bear. So we've said that the dog is fierce and we've compared this to an angry bear using the simile like. The house was beautiful. I want you to pause your video and see if you can write your own sentence, including a simile on your whiteboard. And then we will have a look at mine. Pause your video and write your sentence with a simile. Let's have a look at my sentence. The ancient house was beautiful, like an old fashioned painting. So we've compared the house to an old fashioned painting using the simile like. Have a look at this picture. The man is tall. Can you write a sentence adding a simile to compare the man to something else? Think about how you could compare the man. He's very tall. What could you compare him to? Pause your video and write your sentence on your whiteboard. Let's have a look at my sentence. 
The kind young man is as tall as a giraffe. So we've said that he's tall and we've compared him to a giraffe using the word as. You might have already, you might have compared him to a building, a skyscraper, because they are also very tall. Let's have a look at this sentence. The balloon is blue. How can we add a simile to this sentence to compare the balloon to something else? Pause your video and have a go at writing your own sentence, adding a simile. Let's have a look at my sentence. The big round balloon is as blue as the sky. So we've said that the balloon is as blue as the sky. So we've compared the balloon to the sky using the simile as. Your task today. For activity one, you need to complete the sentences below by adding in similes. There's a young lady sang like a. What could you compare the young lady to? When you're writing the sentences out today, I want you to be using your best handwriting. I want you to be checking that you've got your capital letters to begin your sentence and that you've got your full stop at the end of your sentence and that you have included the similes in your sentences. Activity two, fix my boring sentences by adding in adjectives and a simile. So when I was writing my sentences, I was very tired. I think you can improve them by adding in adjectives and a simile. So the fireworks were colorful. When you write your sentence, I'd like you to remember your best handwriting, that you've got your punctuation in your writing. And can you also underline the adjective and the simile in your writing for me? Activity three, using the pictures below, write similes about each one. Remember to use as or like. Just like in activity three, can you try and use some adjectives in your writing as well? So you've got to look at the picture. You've got to write a sentence in your best handwriting, remembering your punctuation. You've got to include some adjectives and you've got to use the similes as or like in your sentences. I would also like you to underline the adjectives that you've used in your sentence and underline the similes that you've used in your sentence. Remember to upload your work onto Tapestry.